Yeah, brushes. Hey, I'm Billy, um, and in this video we're going to look at wire brushes. Uh, so beginner brushes. Um, how to get started uh, with brushes. So they're very different to sticks. So the first thing um, is just to get used to the feel of the brushes and just play some rudiments, some singles, doubles, paradiddles, flams, any of the patterns that you would normally practice with sticks. Um, and then you can look at any other patterns that you'd play with sticks. Um, you know, any groove patterns that you'd normally play with sticks. You know, um, just just get a, a feel for it. Um, and also, you want to try and get a nice balance between uh, all the parts. Uh, playing with brushes is a really, you know, lovely little uh, sound um, and, you know, it's obviously softer, so if you're playing lighter music, uh, more acoustic music, it's perfect for that. Um, just when drumsticks is basically too loud. So, but you want to um, get a nice balance between everything. Don't kind of belt out the bass drum, just nice and relaxed, you know, make everything... Um, you know, it sits in a nice, comfortable uh, mix of everything. Okay, so then the advantage of playing with brushes is that we can do this kind of sweeping motion on the um, uh, on the snare drum. Okay, so the first thing uh, with the right hand, if you're right-handed, just have a go at um, sweeping the brush from side to side. So one and two and three and four. And just keeping a nice even beat, you know, um, keeping a nice even eighth note pattern. And then you could do the same with the left hand. So one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four. And. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then we could do more of a circle motion. So if we start with the right um, brush at the bottom of the snare, and uh, and you could start on the top. Um, I'm just saying the bottom just um, because that's fine. So uh, we could do one and two and three and four and um, two and three and four and okay. And then the same with the left brush. So one and two and three and four and two and three and four and and then we could do both uh, brushes together doing circles so they're going to go out and then come in and they're not going to sort of collide but they're just going to sweep past each other so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four um, okay uh, then we could maybe add a bit of bass drum just playing a light bass drum on one and three so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and okay then you could add some other bass drum notes for example, one and two and three and four and um, two and three and four and and you could carry on and just keep building on that. Basically, um, we could play a bit of hi hat with the foot uh, on the two and four for a, a light, not really a backbeat, but a light emphasis on the second and fourth fourth beats. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and okay then how about playing a kind of eighth note pattern with the right okay so one and two and three and sorry one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four 
Okay. Now you don't have to do the hi-hat foot as well, I'm just giving you ideas. So um, you could um, just work on um, circles with the left and, and some eighth notes with the right, um, as if you're playing hi-hat in a groove or ride cymbal in a groove. So one and two and three, four and one and two and four and then one and two. Add a little back beat with the right hands. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so then when you're comfortable with that and you've tried uh, a few different bass drum ideas, then you could maybe try a little quicker. Maybe a little drum fill. Okay, so that's an idea to get a little groove happening uh, with this sweeping motion or circles with the left hands. Um, you could uh, combine a bit of kind of time with the right hands um, and, and a kind of sweeping motion, you know, one, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and, you know, for example, um, it's mainly experimenting, coming up with ideas, um, uh, adding the adding the left foot, you know, for one and two and three and four, doing a kind of offbeat idea with the with the hi hat foot one and two and three and four and okay so um that's uh, a great introduction, I think, to brushes. You know, get some sweeping happening, um, get some circles uh, in time. This can take um, some time as well to get uh, confident with that, but that's the, the beauty of brushes, getting that sweeping sound, that kind of smooth, uh, really a jazzy sound, you know. So, um, yeah, great. Have a look at that. Uh, you could then play... Um, you know, uh, kind of a circle per eighth note, you know, sort of one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one, you know, as well. You could look into that. But, um, hope that has helped. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.